Randall M. Roof doesn't do it for the money. He just loves to take pictures. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. Ken Neal's talk for Rental and Roof. And I gotta admit, I just love, I love my new camera, okay? Um, I love it. Same old lens, new battery grip, new camera. 7D, love it. It's a, a drastic, drastic upgrade from the uh, EOS Digital XT. Went from 8 megapixels to a camera that does 4, 8, and uh, 18, which is more than double. Double would be 16, this does 18. We went from three frames per second to eight frames per second in the uh, high speed mode. Uh, right now I've got it set to uh, one shot mode, but it can do up to uh, eight frames a second, which is really pretty good. Um, I love the way it feels in the hand. I just, ugh, it just feels so good. It's so much better than the old camera. All of the features, uh, digital features, all the settings, so much better. And I just, I'm just, I love it. Um, I want to thank David Wilson um, for making a trade with me. Um, I trade, he traded, I traded, let me say that again. I traded this camera, I got this camera, um, which belonged to his late wife. Um, real nice lady, sorry to see that she passed away. Real nice lady. Um, she was a photographer as well, uh, but um, this camera for either my Canon XL1S or a TV and DVD, or a, yeah, DVD and VH, VHS player. He hasn't, he hasn't come by to pick it up, so, so I don't know if he's going to take the video camera or the TV and the VCR. I, I told him he could have whichever one, I mean, whichever one he wanted. I think he's going to take the XL1S, but he might take the TV and the VCR Slash DVD player. I don't know. He has. It's been several weeks since I talked to him. He's gonna come by eventually and pick it up, whichever one he wants. It's his choice. I told him that. Um, I would, I would trade either one for the camera, and uh, so we we made that deal. Been using the camera. Love it. Love the way it feels. Love the way it looks. It's again a vast improvement uh, over my Ken EOS Digital XT. The Digital XT. I have for over 10 years. It was a great camera, but uh, its time had come and gone. And when I got the opportunity to get this camera over the other one, I took went up to Indianapolis, uh, sold it um, for 50 bucks with a, the um, the camera, the battery grip, a battery charger, and a no no uh, battery charger and a battery, and I got 50 bucks for it. And I bought the battery grip and some batteries. Um, the ba batteries nowadays are a lot cheaper than they used to be when it comes to rechargeables. If you get the generic ones. Um, even the Canon ones aren't too expensive on, with, with certain kind of batteries. Now some Canon batteries are expensive. But it turns out that the kind that this takes are not that expensive. Um, you can get basically two generic ones for 10 bucks, or one Canon one for about 10 bucks. So it's not really too bad. I mean, I remember spending, I think it was like 20 bucks, 25 bucks for my digital XT when I got those batteries, tw like 25 bucks a piece. So the price on batteries, uh, on some on some of their batteries, uh, has gone down. So that's a good thing. Um, again, I love the way it feels. And I love the way it looks. I wish, of course, let me say, I wish it was the 1DX Mark II, obviously. But it's not. But I'm very grateful to have this. Do I wish this was the Canon 2300? Yes. Do I wish it was maybe the uh, 28 or no, what was it? Yeah, 28 to um, 28 to 70 or 24 to 70, 2.8 lens. Yeah, that would be a good lens to have too. But I wish it was the Canon 28 to 300 instead of this 28 to 300 because I'm sure that the Canon lens is going to be a lot better or better and it's more heavy duty and it's better glass. So overall, be better. But I'm very happy to have. I'm thankful to the good Lord above. I'm thankful to David Wilson, um, and uh, to have this uh, this lens, this camera, this outfit. Um, 
I've got a hand grip over here that you can uh, order. It's coming all the way from China, so it's been over two, almost three weeks now. It seems like it's on the slow boat from China. You got more plugins, a lot, a lot more menu items. I love the fact that I can name the files. For example, instead of IMG slash one zero zero one IMG slash zero, I can reprogram it. I've reprogrammed it to RMR under slash zero 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 one zero zero two so on. So in other words, instead of IMG, I can have, I can have up to four digits or, or four four letters or four uh, numbers. And I put in my initials RMR. So when the files come out, it's RMR slash whatever number it is. Also, you can embed copyright information, both the copyright information and the name of the photographer in the digital photo or video. So when you upload it to, say, Flickr or Facebook or uh, whatever, um, that EXIF data uh, contains the copyright information, which is really cool. So, uh, if they're copying the actual photo, that copyright information stays with, or as part of the information of the photo. So, that's really cool as well. Really love that. Copyright information and the name of the photographer. So that's really cool. Um, I love the little twist dial. I love this little thummy thing. Um, just, I love the LCD on the top. Um, the one thing I don't like um, is these buttons are not illuminated. Uh, that would be a good I don't know if they're going to do that in the future. If these buttons were illuminated or backlit, that would be a great improvement. Because at nighttime, or when it's dark, you can't see what the buttons are. Um, so you have to remember what they're... Which isn't a big deal, but it would be definitely be helpful to have a switch... There's a there's an illumination button here. Let me turn the camera on. Uh, it, plus, it, it cleans the sensor every time you turn off and turn on. There's a button right here you can turn on the. Uh, oh, you can see that turn on and off. That would be nice if when I did that, it also had illumination for these button, all the buttons actually, um, including the battery grip ones. Um, so it would be nice if those, nice if those were illuminated, and you can see. See, like you said, look, check this out. I'm gonna turn it off. Cleans the sensor again. So it, it cleans the sensor every time you turn on, turn off. Just pretty cool. Um, I love the fact that it has photo and video. One camera does both. That's really cool. Um, a lot of really nice features. Again, drastic improvement. Um, just I'm very, very impressed with Canon technology. Um, there was nothing wrong with my Digirobel XT. Um, it, it was a great camera. It did what it was supposed to do. Um, this has, obviously, has video as well as photo, which my other camera did not have. The ISO goes a lot. It goes up to 6,400. My other one only went up to 1,600. So this is an improvement in ISO, speed, features, uh, like video, plus all the menu, a lot more menu options. It gives it a lot more customizable uh Customizable, custom, custom ability. Maybe that's the word I'm looking for. I don't know. The screen's bigger, which is cool. Um, this camera, I love the, the pop-up flash. I think that's the one thing that the One DX Mark II doesn't have that I think really would be cool, and that's to have the pop-up flash. I know they have a the One DX Mark II has a GPS thing here now, but I, th I still think uh, it should have the GPS plus a built-in flash. Um, that's the only downside to the One Day Smart Two that I see. Um, not that it has GPS, but that it doesn't have a flash. Um, I wish this camera had GPS. It, it has the it has the capability if I get a GPS device to use that information, but it doesn't have it built in. I would ha I have would have to buy a GPS device and add it to it. Um, it can fit in up here where you can put in a GPS device right here where you would put an external flash. Um, so those are available, but they're expensive, and I don't have the money. Um, I'm not sure how much they are. I mean, I think I saw one for two. I think they're about 250 bucks, which pff, can't afford to spend on that, spend on that for a feature that I really wouldn't use that much. Um, would it be nice to have GPS in my photos? Yeah, that'd be really cool. Um, is it something I would really need or use a lot? No, not really. But it would be it would be it would be nice to have it. 
Uh, it's just, it's just, it's one of those things. Um, I've got lots of dials and options here. I've got Pure Auto, Creative Auto, the P for power, or maybe it's professional. I don't know. That's where I have it, where I have it set all the time. You've got an aperture priority, a shutter priority, a manual, where you can set all the features you can do manual. you got a, um, <coughs> excuse me, a bulb uh, setting where you can basically, however long you hold down, the, in other words, if you want to hold it down for 15 seconds or two minutes, or you, as long as you hold the trigger down, it stays, the shutter stays open. And then you got three um, creative modes where you can set different, you can like have certain settings and you can set, like for example, if you want to set it, I don't know, however. There's three things, three places where you can set it to however you want to set it. So you can program it to do it a certain way. Um, it's got a little diopter thing here, so you can adjust the, um, when you look through the viewfinder, it's got a thing here where you can, you know, I'll show you, I'll turn my camera back on. Um, you'll notice when I turn it on, the screen doesn't come on, you can't see what's coming out of the lens. But if you push this little button right here, uh, there's the, uh, and I think that's, re that's really great that they, it, uh, it has the ability to turn that screen on or off. Uh, you can save battery power that way uh, if you're not using it. So that's a, that's a good feature to have be able to turn on and off and use it only if you want to or if you need it. So that's good. Um, it's just I could go on and on and on. I just love this camera. It's a drastic step up. I really appreciate it. Um, I'm looking forward to using it more. Uh, I've already got some really good, some really neat shots. It's not perfect. Um, but it's a drastic improvement over what I had, and I'm glad to have it. Again, I'm thankful to David Wilson for trading for it with me. Uh, thankful to the good Lord above for providing and allowing me to have it. And uh, I'm looking forward to shooting, like I said, shooting some more photos and more videos and uh, doing some more stuff with it. So there you have it. So, uh, so far I'm very impressed. Uh, again, it's not perfect, but it's a drastic step up and it's very good. So with that in mind, thanks for watching. I'm Ken Eos, photographer of Raylan Bruce, saying good day, God bless, and as always, keep taking those pictures. Bye.